Sean McDermott no longer sleeping in his office. Hey, hey Sean. Hey, Sean. How about a little balance? He was sleeping in his uh, office, you know. That's what a lot of NFL coaches do and have to do. A head coach doing it this far in to his run, I think, is admirable. I think a lot of people will enjoy that. He's trying to find a little better balance in his life. Mm, You know, work-life balance. He's trying to figure it out. We had uh, Triple H on the show a couple years ago, and he said work-life balance is a bunch of bullshit, basically. He said those who talk about it have probably never actually experienced any uh, scent of success. I forget how he laid it out. He said it's all bullshit. It's impossible to actually balance them out because one, one needs the other and the one you're never going to quit because you feel like you're helping the other so you just have to try to be in the moment as much as you possibly can so whenever you're at home you got to be home when you're at work you got to be at work yeah it's all a bunch of bullshit though trying to find a balance sean mcdermott said it got to be a little bit <laughs> it's got to be a little bit more balanced than what it has been though and you got to this is why every time somebody goes into the hall of fame in the football world they thank the significant other in the family and they always say like i could have been much better at my job as a dad i could have been much better as a husband because the amount of sacrifice it takes the family and the significant others and we're not talking about like the military or anybody else when it comes serious but the amount of time invested in the family whenever it comes to successful people in the nfl is a lot less than time uh invested in becoming successful in the nfl just because there's not a lot of people that have the job it's a difficult job Mm -hmm. it's a very competitive job and the game is evolving so there's a big paycheck there at the end of the day which hopefully takes care of everybody better than they ever would have in the past with maybe another potential um uh job in the house as opposed to being Mm -hmm. the nfl but at some point i think every nfl guy gets to a point where they're like i've wasted my life in the film room and i've missed bruce arian said yes bruce arian said in his retirement press conference that his wife told him that his son jake had turned 40 and he said 40. Where did the years go? <laughs> 40 is four decades. Yeah. 40 yes. is so long for Bruce to go, 40 years already? Jesus. What Feels the- like just yesterday he was <laughs> yeah. he was born or whatever. That, the amount of dedication. So I like that Sean McDermott's going to go home a little bit. Could that be... Could that be because the team has now has the culture yeah, that they were that looking to build for all those years? Is he that comfortable with where the Buffalo Bills are that now his obsessive compulsion nature of having to watch every piece of film to dedicate every moment of his life to that team is at a point I think this is good for him, good for the Bills. And if I was part of Bills Mafia, I'd be like, all right, our guy finally feels like he can maybe say hello to his wife every once in a while. That was that was my thinking too, is when he came in, like they were they were not great. They've been dominated for twenty years by the Patriots in the division. Vision. And now that are, they're at a place where he built it up to where he kind of trusts the players, maybe a little bit more, trusts trust the, like you said, the culture and stuff like that, where he doesn't have to be there maybe 18, 19 hours a day watching film and stuff like that, where things kind of take care of themselves a little bit. More. I like the fact that um, he's trying to find a little bit more balance, mm-hmm. you know, because are you happy because you win mm-hmm. or do you win because you're happy? That's the old question. question. I think you win because you're happy. But a lot of people think that the happiness comes after the win. And I think you have the wrong mindset because when you're happy doing something, you're actually fully committing to it much more so than whenever you're miserable doing something because nobody's going to fully commit to something that's miserable unless you're a full psychopath. Mm -hmm. So I think you win because you're happy. And I think the wins bring you more happiness. And I think this is going to help the Bills in the long term. I think this is good news for everybody. Absolutely. You got Von Miller now, but I also think, too, you know, he just kind of looks at the team as a whole and says, oh, yeah, Josh Allen's our quarterback, and he's probably the best in the league right now. So I'm going to go home and take a nap or something. I'm going to sleep soundly. <laughs> yeah. We got a six foot five, 245 pound defensive end that runs ISOs at quarterback who has a stronger arm than everybody, is learning the game better than everybody. Congrats to my family. Dad's coming back home. For a <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's That's for great. dinner? That's what, what's for dinner? <laughs> yeah. How do we do dinner? Where do I sit? Do we? <laughs>